Good morning. It's Friday, September 4th, and welcome to another legislative update from the North Carolina Medical Society. It's been a quiet week. Not a lot has happened publicly, but there's been a lot going on behind the scenes, a lot of activity around budget agreement, a lot of activity around figuring out exactly what's going to be included in Medicaid reform, and we feel like we're having a great impact uh, based on the calls that you've made and the visits that your lobbyists have been able to make in order to get your point of view across to legislators and hopefully affect the change or some change in the outcome of what we're going to see from both the budget and Medicaid reform in the coming weeks. Because there hasn't been a lot of public movement this week, I want to take a moment of personal privilege and just kind of give you uh, an assessment of where I think the legislative session is going to end and what I think is going to be determinative of success for this year. I've had a lot of conversations in the last few weeks with, legis with doctors, with your peers, about uh, managed care coming in the state of North Carolina and being defeated as a result of that. And I couldn't disagree with you more about the outcome of what you've done this year, about the outcome of what we've done this year, what we've done uh, both from the medical society's perspective and in combination with all the specialty societies. I think you've had a great deal of influence on the legislation that has already passed or has not even been discussed and the legislation that is to come before we leave the end of this session. And I don't want there to be any thought out there that there has been some great failure, that, that apathy can set in, that you can suddenly believe that it's not worthwhile for you to be engaged in the conversation with legislators, for you to be active in the political process, for you to be engaged with your specialty societies and with the North Carolina Medical Society and in the personal relationships with legislators. That cannot be further from the truth. Uh, what we have seen over the last few years as we've been debating what will be Medicaid reform in North Carolina is a gigantic shift from what was proposed to what will be, uh, what we think will be in the next couple of weeks. And that could not have been done without you participating in the process, without you giving us your feedback, without you working with your specialty societies, without us working together with your specialty societies and all of us working with other partners at the General Assembly to encourage a certain outcome. And just because we don't get every single thing in the list of outcomes that we've asked for doesn't mean that anybody has failed, doesn't mean that we have failed or that you have failed. Um, it just means that we've got something different to work with. We have a different set of outcomes to work with down the road. And I think that's very important for us to ponder right now before we get to the end, before we have that moment of looking at what has been uh, the ultimate outcome and evaluating that, we need to make sure we've got the right perspective on of what is the outcome that we expect, what is the thing that we're looking to do in the future. And what I'm constantly reminded is that we're not only looking after the profession of medicine, the profession of physicians and physician assistants across the state, but we're looking after your patients. And in a move to uh, take care of your patients better, uh, you and the medical society have been on this great path toward moving towards value, uh, making sure that the quality is the right thing, that we are providing the most efficient care in the right place by the right person at the right time, all those buzzwords that we've talked about for years, but actually putting it into a new transformed system of care delivery. And we're doing that in the commercial space, we're doing that in Medicare, and now we're talking about an opportunity to do that in Medicaid. And so just in this one topic that we spent so much time talking about this year, the fact that we're really getting to that point that we're talking about how to do that in North Carolina that is a wild success. It's a wild success for our patients because it's going to be um, actions that translate into better outcomes for our patients, better care for our patients, a healthier North Carolina. And I consider that, uh, even if I may be in a minority, an incredible success. So as we start to evaluate where we are on scope of practice and on Medicaid reform and on um, improvements to the medical board and improvements on care delivery and improvements on insurance laws and all the different things that we've worked on this year, I hope that we'll always step back and take a perspective on two things. The first is that we're, yes, looking after uh, your profession and, and taking a strong leadership role in North Carolina on behalf of your profession, but also that we're making sure that we're focusing on doing things that are improving the lives of your patients and improving the outcomes of North Carolina. And I think we're on that track. I think we're doing those things, and I hope you will believe that uh, as we go forward in the future and help us communicate that 
to your peers because we need to continue to grow our sphere of influence. We need to not only preach to the choir that I'm doing right now, but actually talk to others that are not participating and not engaging and not helping out and not joining because those are the people that we need to continue to be successful and to be more successful in the future. So I hope you will consider that as we talk about where we're going and what happens at the, as an end result for this session in the coming weeks. Look forward to bringing you an uh, uh, update next week that I hope is much more conclusory that uh, begins to show foreshadow the very end of this session as we're already into September and we're all ready for a little break before we get into the election cycles. And then begin thinking about this uh, video update, maybe not ending with the legislative session, but becoming something that we use to encourage grassroots and develop our our fundamental programs, the blocking and tackling that we do outside of the legislative session. So I look forward to continuing that conversation with you in the weeks to come, and I hope you have a great Labor Day weekend.